Alright guys, so yeah, tonight was episode 3 of True Detective, and it's called The Locked Room. I really hope you guys are following this show. If you if you don't have HBO, find somebody that has HBO. Do, don't pirate it, because then they won't make more. But fuck, this is such a good show. This is so amazing. The Locked Room is just like... You know, it's been kind of slow, and the first two episodes are, are very slow, and you're, like, learning about the characters. And now we're moving into the kind of, like, the middle portion act, because I, I consider this more of, like, a like a four-part movie. Or, well, it's an eight-part, an eight-part movie. And we're, we're just moving into that new act, and, oh, God, it is fantastic. The locked room, a lot of confrontations come to a head. Quickly, uh, like my other videos on this show, guys, I'm going to start spoiling things. I'm going to talk spoilers. If you haven't watched the show, watch the show. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me at all. Come back once you've watched the show and listen to me so I can he you can hear what I think. Don't watch it. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. All right, I warned you. So, yeah, locked room. You just... It, you get so much character development, and it progresses the story, and we, we finally get our first lead. So, Rust and Cole, they're, they're just really going against each other, and we open up, we're at their, they're at this kind of, like, traveling church group. And they're the church that had originally inhabited the van, or the, the, the church that had burned down at the end of last episode. And so, we, we get to find... I don't know, we get this kind of a cool, how do I put it, like, back and forth between Rust and Cole, or Rust and Marty, and they're just talking about, like, religion and what religion means to people, and it's, it's pretty tense stuff, and we get to kind of follow them as, as they're finding some leads. Rust has been just, like, delving into this case completely and because he doesn't have a family it, it's just like it, it's wearing on him and he's becoming very very emotionally invested whereas marty who continues to cheat on his wife unknown to her he is he's he's moving more away from the case and that's another thing that i really love about this show is like the those two characters dynamics and how rust and who's played by Matthew McConaughey, is just constantly going after Marty because he's cheating on his wife, which is a really shitty thing to do. But it, it's a cool dynamic. Uh, Michelle Mohagan, or however you say her name, she was better in this episode. She wasn't just the, the whiny cop wife, I guess, that is kind of stereotypical. This this episode, she, she dug a little bit, and uh, her converse, confrontation with Marty was really tense, and it was just, me and my friends were like, whoa, because it, it was starting to come to a head, and yeah. And then there's this really amazing scene where they go on a double date where uh, Michelle Mohagan's character and Woody Harrelson's character decide to hook Matthew McConaughey's character up with a, a random lady. And it ends up, trouble ensues because at the place where they're at, Marty's cheating partner, girlfriend on the side thing, she's there with a date, which like really pisses Marty off and he gets really drunk. And he ends up just like... Uh, lying to his wife about where he's going to go and attack this guy at his, his girlfriend's house and it's, it's just really tense and you just show how kind of like tightly wound Marty's character is and it's really fantastic. Matthew McConaughey still though for me is just like the, the star of this show. He gets like tons of really amazing one-liners that are just like really thought-provoking and his character is just like really cool because he, he's not the good he's not the average like good cop bad cop he's just like troubled and you can't really tell where his like his loyalties lie and another good scene is the uh the lawnmower scene where where marty and rust really just like come to a head about rust hanging out with marty's wife michelle mohagan it was, this is just a fantastic episode. We actually got we got a lead, so we, we find out that this actually is a serial murder or a serial killer, and his his first victim that we know so far was in the in the deeper south, and that that kind of somehow int introduces us to who our first suspect might be, and oh god, if you the show the show. 
we it, it, it just leaves off like it tells you and you know where it's gonna go next it's at this like dirty dilapidated trailer house where the first suspect is but it, and it's just like it talk I mean they're both in the 2012 part they're talking about how big of an event this was and it just leaves off like telling you about it it, it doesn't show you but the last frame the last frame was like the guy who's just like, he's com almost completely naked. He's just wearing I th like a thong underwear with like a gas mask and he's holding, he's holding a baseball bat and he just comes hucking out of the trees. That's so creepy and the music they use with that is so eerie and provocative. True Detective is probably one of, th this is my new favorite show. This is fantastic. It, it almost isn't a TV show, it's a movie. It's like watching a fantastic movie. I'm so invested in these characters only after three episodes. And the fact that f there's only five episodes left just hurts me emotionally. It's hurting me to think that there's only five episodes left. It's not even half over. But, oh, and next week we don't even get an episode because of the Super Bowl. And that really pisses me off because it's so fucking good. And it left off on such an amazing, amazing cliffhanger ending. Yeah, guys, I'm giving The Locked Room a 10 out of 10. This, this episode had no faults. The acting is on par, it leaves off in an amazing place, it moves at a really brisk pace, and it just has a really eerie tone. Watch True Detective, guys. This show is fucking fantastic. I, like, this will be a day one purchase for me. Like, I will pre-order this thing on, on Amazon the second it's available. Watch True Detective. Follow me on Twitter. I've just been going off about Matthew McConaughey for the past couple days. What an amazing actor he is. But yeah, you guys have a good one. Watch this fucking show.